This old gray granny ain't what she used to be. Had a hysterectomy, needs a colonoscopy, but can't pay for care unless she has Medicare. I guess we'll have to shoot her now. Cause where is she supposed to go when she doesn't have the dough? She dare not get sick without Medicare, and so I guess we'll have to shoot her now. This old gray granny splits all her pills in half. The drug companies just laugh. Their profits are off the graph. But the granny can't afford to pay for her pills, and so I guess we'll have to shoot her now. Cause what is she supposed to do? When money for the rent is due, she can't pay for pills and groceries too, and so I guess we'll have to shoot her. Uh, universal health care, and you know that that health care is really a right, and, and it ought not be a privilege. Yes. And and one of the things that a lot of people don't understand about um, Assemblymember Goffrey's bill, which I'm a co-sponsor on is that you know we can we can make the argument to all those folks who are saying that we need to bring in um, mandate spending and things like that on localities one of the things that bill does is actually two areas one is the current lo where localities like the county has to pay a share of medicaid dollars this bill would end that uh, in the future, and only the state would, would pay for its portion of the federal Medicaid. And then the other piece of it is a lot of localities are saying one of the high cost drivers, and I know Bruce, who, who is involved in negotiations and, and, and uh, other sectors, but um, you know, employers are always complaining about the cost of health care. So whether you're talking about public employers or whether you're talking about private employers, if we had universal health care, we would be pulling that expense right. for the most part. I mean, they would still have to be, they would be part of the formula to fund the health care, but they wouldn't be so subject to the increases in cost in health care. So, so there's a, you know, it, it helps individuals, but it also helps with, with those other things. So that's why I'm a strong advocate for it. you got to get the profiteers out, out, out of sickness. And, and you have to remove the fee for service principle and move it into quality health care and that should be the principle. And that's the other objective. now needs a test or two. Her boom has a long construe. But what is she supposed to do? Without Medicare, she would just have to muddle through. I guess we'll have to shoot her now. Grand is old, but she is wise. She knows we have to organize and keep on working to save our trusty Medicare so we won't have to shoot her after all. I mean, I, I, you know, we have to fight back to defend. Look, at Medicare is not cheap anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not free anymore, right? They keep on chipping away at it. And we have to remind people it's the most successful public health program in the history of the United States of America. And it has solved enormous problems and protected people. But that doesn't mean the fool's on the other party, right? You know, they work, they work for the other guys, right? And to Harry's point, I mean, you can just look at the automobile industry, right? You know, the, the province of Ontario now produces more automobiles than Ohio and Michigan combined. And one of the th reasons for that is that uh, you don't pay for health care as a component of the cost of the automobile. So to your point about jobs and manufacturing, I mean, it makes some sense, but the ideologues on the right don't want us to have anything that the government runs or that the government sponsors. So, you know, we've made a, a, a mini step in the right direction with Obamacare, and we're going to have to go through the navigator process, get as many people enrolled. But, you know, Paul is right, you know, we want to take the Vermont path if we can, go towards single payer, get the waiver, and move in that direction very decisively. And the cost curve will come down even greater than it is today. It's your father and your mother and the uninsured, standing in the need of Medicare. It's your sister and your brother and the underinsured, standing in the need of Medicare. We will rage and shout for single-payer Medicare for all. 
Everybody in and nobody out. Single payer Medicare for all. From your birthday till your buried, you will get good care. With me, you have Medicare for all. If you're married, single, straight, or gay, you'll get good care. When we have Medicare for all. If you're higher than you're fired, you'll still get good care. When we have Medicare for all. From retired to expired, you will get good care. When we have Medicare for all. We will rage and shout for single payer Medicare for all. Everybody in and nobody out. Single payer Medicare for all. Corporations and insurers don't do anything to cure us. We need a single payer plan. We are needy because they're greedy, so let's throw them out and demand a single payer plan. Let's you and me and everybody in the land work to get a single payer plan. Healthcare is a human right, so let's get out and fight for a universal single payer plan. Right. So I, I want to know who wrote the lyrics. Me. <laughs> that is wonderful. Yeah. That's a wonderful job. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. So is Vicky here or no? No, no, no. Well, she's in North Carolina. Carolina. Gets herself arrested. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go.